This is a quick video to explain data merge in InDesign and you can use this for a lot of purposes but just for now I'm going to show you how to use it on this certificate or this Im imaginary certificate that I've just created. So I'm, I'm on the master page here so all these items have been placed on there. Set your styling, these are the two boxes we're going to be looking at because basically what we're going to be doing is creating an external data source so we're going to use an Excel and that is basically a list of students and a list of their grades set your font make sure it just fills the box like that and like that and then delete it because we want these boxes to be empty so we were on the master page now we're going back to this first page here and you obviously can't highlight anything because it's not on the uh, it's not the master page so hold down control and shift or command shift on a Mac and click to make that box appear and do the same here so now we've got our uh, student box and we've got the grade box and in Excel I've already gone through and I've created the first box here will be that the first name of our data which is student and the next one will be the next type of data which is going to be grade so I've gone through put in the student's name and their grade and I've worked my way down the list there then I've saved this I've saved it out as CSV comma delimited uh, text I've already saved that on the desktop so I won't bother saving it again um, you, do, you don't need to have Excel it just makes it easier so I've opened that same file in just the text editor here and you can see the only diff thing that separates it there is just this comma hence the name comma separated values so um, and then that's a return down to the next line so if you wanted to do this using a, a simple text editor you could anyway so that's the data sorted so we've got two columns A and B so now we need to go to window utilities and data merge I've already got that open over here it even tells you how to do this so it's quite simple so we're going to load the data source which is that CSV file we created Ah, if you get this warning that just simply means that the the document's probably still open in Excel, so close that. So anyway, <laughs> now we select the data source, which is this CSV file, and you can see it's picked the top two um, headings, if you like, from our Excel file, student and grade. So this is what I want for student, and this is what I want for grade, so I'm gonna drag student there, and I'm gonna drag grade there, and then I'm going to click on the little drop down menu and select create merge document. That's then a then going to give me all these options most of which I don't really pay much attention to because it kind of does what I need it to maybe I'll cover all the details in another video but for now it doesn't really matter just click OK and it's telling you there's no overset text which means there's nothing missing basically which is good overset text is text that won't fit in a text box so that means it's good so now from that from that uh, spreadsheet we've got the data in our InDesign document and because this part was on the master page if I go to these other pages you can see it's now continued over and the only data that's added is from our spreadsheet and that's it really um, obviously you can use this for a lot of different purposes uh, for instance business cards if you had a whole load of business cards for a large company you could just literally get them all to put their details in a spreadsheet and you can whack it all in like that and obviously you know you can use it for absolutely anything you can come up with anyway hopefully this video has been useful to you hopefully it has please give me a thumbs up if it's been helpful um, if you'd like to leave me a comment please do that and if you'd like to see more videos please subscribe thanks for watching